Here's the satellite imagery, a very, very large storm, folks, a 400 mile wide wind field, even though it's still just towards the south, south uh, west of Miami and Tampa. It's so broad here, folks, that we are already starting to see those feeder bands coming on shore and impacting all of the west western coast of Florida, including ourselves here. And we're anticipating this to reach landfall between the time frame of oh, probably 9 p.m. It's been pushed back a little bit. It has stalled slightly uh, on its path here. So we were anticipating originally a landfall around 7 to 8 p.m. Now I'm thinking likely 9, 10, maybe even 11 p.m. here as this thing has significantly slowed and it also has shifted to the east a little bit. So let's take a look at its current path as far as uh, where those models have it going. So this is still off in the Gulf, really ramping up here, rapid intensification. But look at that. The models with the most recent update have shifted. It still have some outliers going over Alligator Point, but it looks like most of this will be going to Wakulla and then straight into Tallahassee. Right now as a Category 3, we have 105 mile per hour sustained winds moving towards the north to northeast at 14 miles per hour.